Today we're investigating Newton's third law. We're going to use the power of peroxide and permanganate for propulsion. Newton's third law says that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, or for every force, there is an equal and opposite force. Today we're going to investigate that with a little chemical reaction. Uh, it's the same chemical reaction that they use to propel spaceships in outer space, like to actually just correct their course and move them around ever so slightly. It's not the actual rocket thrusters that like, you know, shoot it into space. It's the, it's the little psh, 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 psh those kinds of spaceship thrusters. I actually made a video about it if you want to go check it out. It kind of explains how the whole system works. But today we're taking it a step farther and we're going to actually put the reaction on a cart and see how it moves. So the idea here is really simple. I've added a flask on top of this cart. It's got some wheels on it. That's the important part. So it will actually roll. And then I've got a stopper that I put a piece of glass tubing in that we've bent. It kind of makes the shape of a thruster, so to speak. Really its purpose is to direct the flow of gases in a particular direction, which should push the cart in the opposite direction. I mean, it's Newton's third law. In the video I made about spaceship thrusters, I actually put the peroxide into a syringe and the permanganate in the flask, and I was able to control the addition of peroxide by shooting it in through the syringe, but that doesn't actually work so well if I've got my hands on the system when I'm trying to see how the force will cause it to move. So. I had to come up with a little bit different way to make this happen. So the solution was these gel caps. I actually made a video a couple weeks ago about a genie in a bottle. You might, uh, you might go check that one out. It was actually pretty cool too. But these gel caps are a perfect way to introduce the permanganate to the system without actually having my hands on it. It gives it a bit of a time delay or a slow release. So that way I can throw it all in there and seal it all up and not have to touch it and actually we can see what happens.
honestly, that's like some Willy Wonka shit right there. <laughs> I mean, that was good. By reducing the size of the output, we're actually able to increase pressure, causing it to have more force coming out. And because it has so much force coming out, it actually pushes the cart forward. So ah, it's a beautiful demonstration of Newton's third law. But I must say, this is definitely one you should avoid trying at home. Uh, we're dealing with concentrated hydrogen peroxide. This is not the stuff that you're putting on your wounds when you get a little cut. That's only 3%. This stuff is 30%. It's 10 times more concentrated. In fact, it's so concentrated that if you just get a drop of it on your skin, it'll actually bleach your skin pretty instantaneously. All right, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a beautiful demonstration of Newton's third law and quite a fun little chemistry reaction as well. Hopefully you guys had as much fun with this one as I did. I thought this was a ton of fun. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. And aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.